Old Minister of Labor, Senator the Honorable Dion Fox, confirming to our news team that some 164 members of the Grand Ducayans line staff have accepted voluntary separation packages after government purchased a Grand Bahama base property last year. Government purchased a property for $65 million, paying $30 million of that sum up front. The Grand Ducayan that was closed following extensive damage by Hurricane Matthew in 2016 at approximately 400 employees. The Labor Minister revealed that voluntary separation packages for those staff that opted to leave included severance pay, back pay, and gratuity. All of the line staff at, at our, our Lukaya, all of their settlement packages are completed. Um, I don't think there are any issues involved. There were no issues, um, as reported to me as, as early as Friday. Um, we are now dealing with the management um, union, with Mr. Obi Ferguson and his union, to see if we could find a settlement. But Minister Folk says Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Dionisio Diagula, is currently handling that aspect of the project. Minister Folk also praised officials of the Commonwealth Union of Hotel Services and Allied Workers Union, led by President Michelle Dorsett, who helped finalize deals for the line staff and shared, and shared when those payouts were concluded. Last two weeks, um, but I'm, I'm, I'd like to congratulate the management and the board, and, uh, and and also the respective union for the cooperation in, in, in that.